Hello. Uh, today we're gonna do a little bit of a challenge. Um, I'm gonna see if I can go this whole day only eating from this gas station. We got a little place around here called uh, Quick Trip. And um, it's kind of like a big ass fancy, it's like the fanciest gas station or rest stop, if you will. To start off, of course, we got breakfast. I got the sausage, egg and cheese biscuit for $2.99. And I got the sausage, egg, and cheese croissant for $2.99. So I was looking for a bacon, egg, and cheese something. But they only had sausage, egg, and cheese. I'm not sure if that's an everyday thing, but we're going to get a look at this. A little egg thing. Uh, using the term egg loosely. We got the patty. And then we got some cheese. You know, the croissant looks pretty good. You know, um, visually on a scale of one to 10, I would give this a five because everything looks straight. It looked like this came straight out of a Jimmy Dean's box. You know, the ones you buy at Walmart, that's what this looks like. Stop. It's going to be a long day. Mm. Mm. Not bad, but the, uh, the croissant is a little tough. This whole thing, I'm gonna have to give six. Cause 5.5. 5. Cause this croissant is tough, boy. Maybe they just don't know how to cook croissants. So basically got the same thing, boom. Except biscuits, biscuit. Hopefully these aren't as tough. Let's go ahead and give this a try. That biscuit is dry as that biscuit is dry as hell though. Mm. Should have got something to drink, but I was like, should I get a Slurpee? I shouldn't get a Slurpee for eight o'clock in the morning. Do you have any water in this bitch? God. We're gonna try the Slurpees out for uh lunch. I'll give the biscuit uh 6.8 out of 10. Way better than a croissant. Croissant, hard as hell. They got pizza. Uh, they got macaroni and cheese. I think I might go for pizza. Uh, I'll see you guys in a couple hours. If you're going to eat at a gas station, the number one thing you got to do is you got to get you a slushie. And if you're not mixing your slushie, I don't know what the you you we can't be friends if you don't mix your slushy. If you if you come out of the gas station and your slushy is one whole color, I can't even drive you home, man. I gotta call you an Uber. When you have a slushy, the beautiful thing about a slushy when you mix it is that you literally have two different drinks. You push the straw down. We're drinking blue raspberry. We come up. We're drinking Kool-Aid fruit punch. This is Kool-Aid blue. And this is Kool-Aid Red. And they call it raspberry and fruit punch, but 10 out of 10. How, how can you mess up a slushie? We have an eclectic assortment of dishes today from a gas station. First, the chicken taquito. It's essentially Taco Bell. That's essentially what it is, it's Taco Bell. Night shift Taco Bell when the teenagers come in after getting high all night and then they leave it on the stove for too long and they accidentally burn it. Four out of 10. We got four different dishes. This is a gas station egg roll. Let's try this out. But it's good though. I mean, for what it is, I'll say I give this a six out of 10. Five out of 10. Overall egg roll, five out of 10. Gas station egg roll, 6.5 out of 10. We have a, what could only be described as a hot dog? Pig in a blanket thing? It's like if a pig in a blanket grew up, I guess. I don't know. This bread is not soft, but uh, this is 
not this is horrendous. This is terrible. This is a three out of ten. No, trip little thing, pepperoni pizza. Let's try this out. Doesn't look too bad. Look at it. If you wonder what I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out if it's better than Little Caesars. For a gas station pizza, this is eight out of 10. It's pretty, it's pretty good, actually. You know what? Let me take another bite of this. Let me get another bite of this. It's all right. It's on par with the hot and ready pizzas, like the pepperoni pizzas. As soon as you walk in the door, it's like on par with that. But if you get a fresh pizza made at Little Caesars, this is not as good as that. And um, I'll see you guys at dinner. We're back. I saw people um, doing their 7-Elevens and I was like, ah, I bet Quick Trip gonna smash 7-Eleven. But uh, so far, this food is rough. Mm. When it hit the bottom, when it, when it hit the basement, I, I, it's gonna be some problems. I know it is. I pretty much cleared, y'all saw how big my lunch was. I pretty much cleared almost everything they had in there out. We got a... Uh, mac and cheese we got mac and cheese right here you're gonna get right into this i'm gonna go ahead and be honest with you just from the uh general look of it i'm gonna go ahead and say that this may not be great but you know don't want to go into it with a negative attitude so we're gonna go into it with a good this is gonna be great this is going to be fantastic you gotta have that positive mindset you can't go ahead you can't go into it negative all right, let's try this out. Not as bad as I thought. I give that a seven out of 10, actually. That's actually not bad. Okay, things are starting to look up. All right, I had to pull over here. It's a little bit better. A lot of y'all know it's getting dark, so my blackness is starting to take over. So, but it's a, I had to face towards the sun, but we, we, we looking good now. But you know what's not looking good? This pizza that I picked up. Because I uh, I figured I'd save the best for last. I thought. Um, I got the triple, the three meat pizza. Like for lunch, y'all know I had the um, pepperoni pizza. And I was like, this ought to be a little bit better. But um, take a look at that. That's, uh, that's rough. All right, you know what? Let's try it out. a little bit dry i'm gonna have to give a presentation on this one two out of ten look at it bro you can see what it, mm. but you know it's all right 7-eleven might have this i'm gonna have to do a video on 7-eleven i don't have any personal experience but quick trip food eh, i'm still gonna smash it but it could be better but it's not a pizza restaurant it's a gas station like I always say, if you rate it towards actual pizza, like like overall pizza, this is like a three out of 10. But if you compare it to gas station pizza, this is like a three out of 10. That's all. I'm gonna wait for this to hit the basement. It should be an interesting night. Um, we got uh, 25 more subscribers to go till we hit uh, 100 subscribers so if you guys uh, like the video please like that video and if you guys fuck with the vibe please subscribe it's um uh, if you want to come along on the journey and um peace